The food's amazing. The, the turnout's terrific. Thank you very much for making the time and the effort and the energy to come along here because um, it, it's not easy to, to jump out early and, and squeeze an extra couple of hours into your day. But life's about energy, isn't it? It is so much about energy. It doesn't matter what you do. But if you're flat, monotone and boring, you're going to get that sort of energy back. So as I would often say to my, my kids, and any young people really, you've got a choice. There's a line in the sand and you choose between the best choice and the second, third or fourth best choice. Now, they're obviously easier. But once you cross that line, why would you be boring, beige and forgettable? Now, it wasn't that long ago that my daughter, Alexandra, turned up at home. And there she was, standing on the doorstep. And my daughter and I used to have brown hair, really, all of those years ago. She stood up and, and she's got bright, white, cropped hair. Now, what can I say to her? She said, what do you think of that? <laughs> the next one was the tattoo. I wasn't going that well. Yeah. But I haven't got the right to say to, to her because I've spent all my life trying to be different. Maybe it was being Tasmanian initially. <laughs> where I crossed Bass Strait and my bowling action, right arm over left ear, old legs crossed at the point of delivery. <laughs> Very hard to be good looking and pretty on your feet. <laughs> I was biomechanically perfect before biomechanics was even a word. Great joy in saying, saying to folks like Tony Gregg, on your bike, sunshine, have a look at the scoreboard. Way to go. Just beautiful. So I think in business, how can we stand out from the crowd? Because there's a lot of clutter and a lot of buzz out there. There are many different ways that we can stand out and that's the challenge.